Hey guys, Alien1 Tech here, and it looks like there's a new update or refresh or whatever you guys want to call it on the ESRB rating system. So if you guys want to hear more about it, because I think it's pretty interesting, and if you guys also think so, you guys might want to check this out right after this. Alright, so the ESRB rating system, it's actually extremely familiar in the gaming industry. And if you guys have no idea what the hell I'm talking about, then you're not a gamer. But anyways, just in case, it's this stuff right here. The stuff that you usually see on gaming boxes. It's like M, rated E, rated T, stuff like that. Um, which, by the way, I own a lot of rated M games here. But uh, anyways, that's what that is. Well, they actually have been conspicuously absent on digitally distributed games. Well, that's all about to change according to an announcement from the nonprofit organization. Well, this new rating system is actually supposed to help developers to add at no cost things that are being designed to help players navigate through not only content, but what kind of services the games are actually using. Ideally, that means consumers will not only get guidance on whether a game features well, violence, uh, graphic violence actually, or some sort of drug use or nudity, but also whether a game shares a user's location or provides unscreened access to a user's generated content. And these new rating systems will be assigned by developers when they actually fill out some sort of questionnaire about the game. Now the ESRB's president, Patricia Vannis, actually says that the new system will provide some sort of consistency across a variety of platforms, which often have their own content ratings. Also the first wave of games to incorporate this uh, new rating system will be games and titles appearing on Xbox Live Arcade, PSN, Nintendo eShop, and some Windows 8 titles. And it also looks like they actually made a video about this uh, new ESRB rating system. I'll leave a link down in the alien box below. Well guys, I guess that's the end of my video here. Now I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think about this uh, new rating system? Is it something that will actually help you guys buy a new game? Or is it something that you guys won't really care because you don't even care about the rating system? Well, you can always let me know down in the comments below. And also, of course, while you're down there, you can check out my alien box for that link I told you about that video. And also for my Facebook page, go like it if you have not done so already. And subscribe, hit that button above if you have not also done that. And you can check out my latest videos right there. And I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. So this is Alien1Tech signing out. Bye.